Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to break down some of these larger freeze-dried wholesaler bags into individual meals and I'm going to show you how you can use these and we're going to cook this up for prepping or your bug out bags. All right, everybody, welcome back. Now, I am going to prepare this meal. Of course, I have a little bit too much of everything in here. I'm just going to make a little meal for myself. But I'm going to prepare this meal using completely just freeze-dried wholesalers' goods. Um, one of the things I wanted to do today was show you how you can take these and break them down into smaller packages and use them for, say, a camping trip, if you seal them up correctly, a bug-out bag. And if you're going to use these for a bug-out bag, okay, in these bags unopened, they have a 25-year shelf life. If you seal them with a vacuum sealer and use a new oxygen absorber, they're good for five years. So if I were to seal these in oxygen absorbers and in a vacuum-sealed container, I'd have a meal that would last me for five years in my bug-out bag. So one of the things we do with this, is the cool part is, you always want to make sure you have enough extra room in the bag to hydrate your stuff. So we're not going to use any extra cups or anything. I'm going to hydrate everything in these bags, and I'm going to make up some of the pasta here, and the uh, tomato sauce, some of these meatballs, and a little Parmesan cheese. So it's kind of going to be a spaghetti and noodles type thing, <laughs> kind of like a, uh, a mountain house dish, because they don't have spaghetti, so it's going to be a meatballs and uh, noodles type dish. Anyway, folks, let me get it set up. Let me get some water out here so we can hydrate this stuff up, and we'll give it a try. All right, now when it comes to the tomato sauce, I add um, enough so that I get the thickness I want, the consistency. Again, you're just putting random amounts in these bags, so you don't know how much water you're supposed to be using. So as a general rule, I'll just toss that in there and mix it around a little bit, put a little more water in until I get the consistency I want, okay? And that's really simple to do. As you can tell, even in a bag, you can hydrate this stuff real easy. That's a lot of sauce, by the way. I put in a little too much when I uh, when I portioned it out last night, but I figured, out oh, that's okay. I'll use it for something else. So we're getting really thick sauce here. That's probably going to be a little grainy, too, so you probably don't want that. So what you're going to do is just add a little extra water to loosen it up a bit. So anyway, that's pretty good there. A little more water in. Like I said, that's a lot of sauce. There we go. And you got some stuck on the bottom here, so let me get that out too. And don't forget too, you can seal up these bags, especially Ziploc bags. Not so much with your vacuum sealed bags, but the Ziploc bags. See how we have a little uh, a little bit in there? Let me just mush it around in there. Mush it around, shake it up. There we go. Okay, that's hydrated. Next up, now normally what I do with the noodles is I just boil them. They're so close to being ready, and I will boil them. I'll usually do them last, but in this case we're doing this with one burner and one pot. So I'm just going to toss them in there, a little bit of water in that, and we'll get more water out here, and there you go. So they're ready, and they'll hydrate very, very quickly. Matter of fact, let me get the air out of that bag so it doesn't tip over. There we go. That's a little better. Now, meatballs. The meatballs, again, I'm probably going to boil the meatballs first, because I find that they hydrate a little bit better. Let me get this out of here. Um, when they've been boiled, but I am going to put them in water here, and I am going to put a little more water in there. And we almost have the perfect amount of water. And don't forget, too, if you're going out for like a day trip or a day hike, you can hydrate this stuff and just go with it. You know, you can put it in the bag here, seal it up, and go on your day trip. And by the time you get to where you're going and you want to cook your meal or you're going camping or whatever, you're ready to go. So, I'm going to let those sit there. And lastly... We have the Parmesan cheese. Now, this is kind of tricky. What I like to do with this is just get it damp, okay? I don't want to go too crazy with the water. Yes, you can strain it off, but I really just want to get the stuff damp to the point where there's just a little extra water in there, okay? I'm sealing it up here. That's why I'm bringing it close to me, okay? And then I'm just going to shake it up, make sure the water hits everything, and just let it hydrate like that. So I'm going to give this stuff about 10 minutes and come back. And we're going to make this all in one pan. I'm going to show you how I do it. The first thing I'm going to do is boil the, the meatballs. Then when they're done, I'm going to take that water out and put that in. And then the, uh, the sauce in with the meatballs when that's done. And everything together. And a little bit of Parmesan cheese as a garnish. So let me get this all set up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, because they take the longest to hydrate, is I like to boil the meatballs. I don't really I boil them too much. I like to heat them up. I guess that's the best way to put it. So I'm going to move the stove out of the way. And you see, we're just using a 
single burner, nothing fancy. Okay, we're gonna put those in there. And I am gonna add some water. These will hydrate very, very well um, once you get them going. So what I wanna do is kinda of cook this in order of the speed of hydration of all these items. So, and of course, the Parmesan cheese will be fully done and the tomato sauce is fully done, so they're the last things to go on. So let's fire this thing up. There we go. And I'll keep it at a low to medium flame. You see that's not really a super high flame. One of the reasons I'm using this, flame, this, uh, this stove from Alox is because it's a very controllable stove, so I don't go nuts with it. So let's give some time to these guys. They're already starting to get a little soft. And uh, we'll be back when they're done. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. And I am going to move this over here. Cover it up with my lid. And let that sit for a little bit. I think that's pretty much done. I want to let that pan cool off a little bit. And then we'll come back and we will start in on the uh, noodles. All right, so I'm just going to let those soak in the, in the frying pan that comes with this kit. We're just going to let those meatballs soak. I'll move them around a little bit, but they're pretty soft as is already. So we're just going to let them sit there. Next up, we're going to do the spaghetti. Now the pasta, it's not spaghetti, of course, it's noodles. Uh, this is really kind of parboiled, almost fully cooked. So with this, I just kind of bring it to a boil and it's good. I have more than enough water in there to do that. It's already sucked up some of it. So we're going to get that going and it's already kind of, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, see, we already have a soft noodle consistency. It tastes great. There's no uh, hardness to it. So once that's done, we're going to put the meatballs in, mix everything around with a little bit of the pasta sauce. And you see just how easily you can put together little quick camp meals for yourself. And if you want to vacuum seal them and use oxygen absorbers, heck, you can turn this into a um, you know, bug out bag meal. And you can eat a whole lot better than nothing but Mountain House all day. So, let's let this boil. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Move on to the next step. Alright, so here's the easiest part. I just strained the spaghetti because it was ready. The noodles, I should say, or elbow pasta. It's all strained. I'm going to take some pasta here. And again, I'm kind of cheating using a kitchen utensil, but you could use whatever you want. Some pasta sauce. Okay, that's nice and thick. You mix it in. Give it one more. And again, you can add or subtract as much uh, water as you want from the sauce. The sauce will also heat up um, once you put it in with the noodles, you know. Uh, so let's uh, grab our meatballs. There we go. Maybe we'll put a little bit of water in there too to loosen up the sauce a bit. And there we go. Everything's hot and ready. Okay. Now I'll put a little Parmesan cheese on it. This came out perfect, by the way. Uh, the way I hydrated it was absolutely perfect. There was minimal water I had to remove from it. And as you see, it sprinkles just like fresh Parmesan cheese. So I'll mix that in a little bit. And let's plate it up and see how we did. And there you go. A super easy meal can be made at camp, can be made during emergencies or power outages, and it does break down the size of these. And I said, if you want to store these very long term, I would say cut your portions out into um, vacuum bags and um, vacuum them up. Make sure you have fresh oxygen absorbers. And those little meals that you've made individually are good for five years. So it's almost like making miniature MREs. And with freeze dried wholesalers, you can do that because they have such a range of stuff that you can choose from. I want to give you a look on this before we eat it. So let's give it a shot here, see how it tastes. Mm. Absolutely perfect. Looks like I made myself some lunch. Mm. Really amazing. And you know, the less water you use in the tomato sauce, the hardier it is, the more you can taste the spices. The more water you use, yeah, it's a little runny, but um, it'll still be good if you like very light tomato sauces. So that is an easy way to take your freeze-dried wholesaler stuff, turn them into individual meals that not only taste great, but look pretty darn good too. You wouldn't be getting that out of a bag of Mountain House, I'll tell you that right now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, you click on that link down below that I have for him. It says freeze-dried wholesaler slash discount slash Iridium 242. You click that link, you're going to save 15% on anything you order. Just by clicking the link, it's automatically discounted. So definitely check them out. You know, it's getting close to the end of the month. We're going to have some 
have uh, some, another video of this coming up soon. But uh, I do want you guys to check them out and make sure that you get your food in right now, especially with what's going on in the world. Things are so uncertain. Um, stock is, you know, in and out of stores. Can't find it when you need it. And uh, stuff is running out. And there's talk of major shortages coming up in the future. Don't know if it's true or not. Don't like to sell fear. But having some freeze-dried food is definitely a good way to hedge off that and not worry about it. Don't forget to check out all our other links down below there, as well as our My Patriot Supply. That's preparewithiridium.com. And I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.